Hi Aries, welcome to this reading. I hope that you're doing well today. Um, okay, so how is this person feeling? Knight of Wands reverse. They could be feeling that there's action they want to take, but now isn't the right time, or they're holding themselves back. Um, they could also be feeling like it's not appropriate to show you how uh, passionately they feel about you. Yeah, look, Seven of Swords, they feel they have to keep this hidden. They have to keep it a secret for some reason. I mean, if we have a look at this depiction here, this is the Housewife's Tarot. Um, I mean, she's smiling, but she's about to, you know, stab this woman in the head with two massive knives. So your person might think that someone would have it in for them, you know, if they made it clear how they feel about you or someone would not be happy with you. Um, so, yeah, they're keeping their passionate feelings, their desire for action. There's something they want to do. They're keeping it quiet and we'll see what they want to do in a minute. We have the Queen of Wands. Wow. So you could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius or have strong fire in your chart, but you know, whether you do or don't, um, they see you as someone who is confident, very attractive, um, externally confident, you know, your, your personality shines through, uh, <laughs> excuse me, shines through, um, you have like this warm energy, you are, um, I mean, she looks kind of angry here, but generally speaking, the Queen of Wands is a very, um, you know, someone it makes you happy to be around. Um, confident keeps coming through so there's some way in which they see you as being very very confident and that's a lot of I'm hearing your ch your charm your charisma it's um it's one of the things they find very attractive about you and you might be thinking I'm kind of an introvert I don't come across as that confident but they think you are or there is like one particular area you're confident within or maybe once you get talking about a particular thing your confidence really shines through but you're very desirable um so they feel, you know, that you're a real uh, catch and you don't have to be a woman watching this. It's, a, it's an energy, you know, you could be, um, you could identify as man, woman, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just the energy. Okay. Six of cups in the reverse. So they may be feeling that they have missed a chance with you. Actually, they might be wondering as well if you have decided this person is part of your past. You know, they might also be wondering if you're even, um, you know, if, do, you, do you still think about them? Are you interested in perhaps maybe other options that you have? Yeah, look at that. Five of Cups, Eight of Wands. Okay, clearly, it's clear as day. The action this person wants to take is to say something to you. They want to take action towards you. Why? Because they can see the potential here. Normally in the Five of Cups, we don't see the two full cups. She's seeing all of them here. They're all in front of her. So this person can see where things went wrong. They can see how maybe they messed up. They can see what their regrets are now but they can also see that you have this very special connection and they want to take action, they want to move forward, but they do feel that if they were to do this, it would have to be done secretly. Okay, let's see. Let me just get one for this Seven of Swords. Yeah, Four of Wands reverse. So someone here, it seems, has some kind of established relationship or foundation that um, is kind of not in alignment with this connection moving forward between you. So maybe they're married, maybe you are, maybe you both are, maybe you have partners, maybe you work together and work policy states you're not supposed to date. You know, something like that. They would have to go behind the back of... Um, this other person or this institution um there's like a pre-established situation here that doesn't allow for the both of you to move forward at least you know in your person's opinion so it, it could vary it could be no you know there literally is a contract that we've signed that says we can't um be in a relationship all the way through to your person kind of wondering if you are aligned in terms of your values your beliefs you know so you'll know where you fall within that um scale Okay, let's keep going. How do they feel about you, things, temperance reverse, so some Sagittarius energy there, but they feel that you're not really very happy with them. They might feel like, um, you know, that you feel you've been done an injustice, that you're kind of angry. You, you have been upset in the past, but you're not really upset now. You're kind of more fired up, um, but maybe you're feeling impatient. Maybe you're feeling like you haven't been valued or recognized by them. Can we get one more card, please, Spirit? One more card. How does this person feel about my viewer, about this situation, about this connection? Yes, yes, yes. See, Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Wow. 
So what they want to do, nine of swords in reverse, is stop overthinking, stop worrying and send you a message. The page of cups as a message specifically can be an apology as well. Um, so whatever this four of wands, ten of pentacles is, it's something they would like to shake off, step away from, um, so that they can be free to move towards you. Both, it's interesting how both are coming up reversed. So in your person's mind, this um, commitment, foundation, job, whatever it is they have going here, it's not something they're happy in any way. I mean, but the question is, are they actually going to do something about it? You know, um, if it's you that, that's in a commitment here or, or there's something in the way of you being together in your person's perspective, you know, on your side, it's like they're kind of wishing that you would put that other person or situation in the past. But um, I think for most of you, this is something on your person's side, if it's not something in between you that's an obstacle. Let's see what they'd like to say. I mean, I know we, we're going to get there in a minute, but, you know, as it's come up, let's see. Okay, page of cups, please. Page of cups. There are lots of things trying to come out, nothing's coming out. And look, <laughs> the one that did come out is the Four of Pentacles reversed. Your person's got a lot to say to you about many things and they do struggle to open up. Um, so essentially, although the Page of Cups usually is a small message, like a hi, how are you, that sort of thing, they actually, that's like the gateway for everything. They want to share everything they haven't said over the days, weeks, months, years, however long you've been interacting here. I, I think for the majority of you, this is a connection. I don't see like you being in an official relationship here. It looks like there might actually even be other relationships, um, you know, on one or both sides. So yeah, it could be a connection that hasn't grounded into a relationship. It could be that you had a relationship, maybe even a marriage, a family, and um, you know, something has changed here and your person is even thinking, you know, I want to reconnect. I want to see if we can try again. But I do think for most of you, um, you're not in a relationship at this time. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so how's your person feeling? Their feelings are, I want to talk to you. I want to share everything with you that you don't know that I've been holding back. I want to tell you how I feel. I want us to move forward together. And whatever this other thing is that I'm involved in that's kind of tangible, I want to leave that. So let's see then what they're thinking because that's what's going on with their, their um, feelings. Okay, seeing that four of wands. Let's see how they're thinking about you, about this. How are they thinking? What are their thoughts? What are they predominantly thinking at this time, please, spirit? About my viewer, about this connection with my viewer. What's my viewer's person thinking at this time? What's going on in their headspace? Okay, we have the Six of Wands reversed. So they might be feeling like they're seeing past their ego. Um, they might be seeing that they were prideful, they were stubborn in the past. They might also be challenging their ways of doing things, seeing things. You know, our ego is not just about pride and that sort of thing. It's, it's about the judgments we make, the values we hold, all of that sort of thing. So they might be making changes. They might be opening up their perspective, seeing things in, in new ways, thanks to you and this connection. They could also be feeling like this other thing, you know, four of wands reversed, ten of pentacles reversed. They might be feeling like behind closed doors, I'm not a success. I'm not happy in this. Um, it seems that way to everyone else. Like I'm, you know, I've got everything together. I'm doing well, but uh, yeah, they're not happy. Okay, what else please? What is this person thinking at this time? Okay, let's see. We have the King of Wands. That's interesting. King of Wands and then we have the Queen of Wands. So in their head, they feel like they are a good match for you. But that didn't show up in terms of how they're feeling could also be that in their head they're saying, before I come forward, I need to make sure I'm a good match for you. Because I'm wondering, are they kind of almost trying to trick themselves into, into saying, oh no, I am good enough. But then that would be an ego thing, you see, and it looks like they're moving past 
their ego. Let's keep going and see how this fits in. That's just really interesting how it's crossed over between head and heart. We have the nine of wands. They can also feel like lots of people de depend on them. Lots of people look at them objectively. People think they're doing well. They're, a, you know, they're a boss, literally, or sort of like, you know, metaphorically. Um, but actually, they're tired. They want a break. They don't want to be out here doing everything by themselves. We have the three of cups. Okay, we have the king of cups. Yeah, there's something going on for your person that they're very, very much aware of. They think about how the image they put out there is not aligned with what they're feeling and what they want. So they're doing one thing, feeling and wanting another. You know, they're living one particular kind of life, but they want something else for themselves. This king of cups looks kind of uh, morose, a bit sad there, a bit depressed. He's, he's looking down at his cup, he's pondering. Okay, let's see. We have the ten of cups. Wow, this person seems to have a really good image going on. Knight of Pentacles reversed, but actually they feel stuck. They feel like there's no progress. They're stuck in this place where they're pushing forward. They're always striving. They're always fighting. They're always exhausted. They've always got so much to do. They don't feel that they have an equal, even if they're in another relationship. They don't feel that they have an equal there. Um, and then we have the Seven of Wands, quite literally on its side. So I'll take it that way as well. Okay, so this person in their head, what they're doing is saying to themselves, Seven of Wands on the side, should I, shouldn't I? Should I open up? Should I keep my defences in place? You know, should they reveal to you the truth that they're not really happy, that they want something with you, they don't want to be with someone else, or they don't want to be doing something else, they want to be giving you their time, or should they hold back? So, yeah, you can see they're not completely misaligned in terms of their thoughts and feelings, their head and heart, but their heart is like, come on, it's clear, just do it. You know what you want to do. Their head is saying, I know what I want to do. I think I should do it. I don't know. I've got lots of eyes on me. I've got an image to uphold. I think there's a fear of change. You know, there would be a lot of change here. We have the seven of swords reversed. You see exactly, should I stop projecting this image? Should I get more invested? Should I be more interested in my feelings and my own happiness and stop thinking about other people's happiness? And I don't even think, we're not just talking about, like, let's say they have, a, a, you know, family, children, that sort of thing, and they're concerned about their happiness, which is, you know, obviously a good thing. I think it's more like they want people to be happy with the life they're living. So let's say they have friends um, or kind of um, quite domineering parents or family members who believe certain ways of living are right, certain ways are wrong. They want these people to look at them and to be like yes i'm happy you're living what i consider to be the right kind of life you're with the right kind of person doing the right kind of things so it's um it's more like there are people around them that um, they're trying to appease your person in some way is controlled by other people whether it's overt or covert okay anything else for how my viewers person is thinking please i'm being drawn to this seven of wands so let's go over there for some of you, this could literally be a blocking. You know, they've blocked you in terms of communication, social media, that sort of thing. You've blocked them and they're hoping for, you know, um, to be unblocked or they're thinking, okay, should they unblock you at this point? What's that? Ah, that Ten of Cups. Okay, Seven of Wands, what's going on here, please? Ah, yes, Will of Fortune, ready to move forward. We have Sagittarius energy there. Okay, I think ultimately your person's head is catching up with their heart and they're soon going to be aligned and realise, look, it's go time, let's move forward. I don't need to be stuck anymore. Um, I think the first thing that's going to happen is they're going to reach out to you. The changes they need to make, that's going to be something that takes maybe some time, depending for each of you on what this is that's going on with your person. You know, is it just a job they can, can leave? Are they married? Do they have a family? you know that sort of thing okay so let's have a look at their messages for you what do they want you to know at this point we have shadow side you made me realize my flaws and that's exactly it with that six of wands reversed and not just flaws i think you've made them see things in in different ways it's almost like for the longest time they felt that the way they did things the way people around them did things the beliefs values they hold people around them hold that's that's just it that's just life that there's one way of doing things there's only one way of, of thinking about things but actually i think you've um, shown them something different we, ha yeah. 
reflection exactly being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity so reflecting on themselves on you on the connection on how miserable they truly are and they look very very successful very happy from the outside but you know, to all of us, success, happiness can look different ways, but it's about the people around them. Whoever they have around them, those people measure success and happiness in the way that your person seems to be flourishing. I don't think I've worded that very well. So let's say your person looks like they've got a good career, they've got the perfect family, white picket fence, all of that. And the people around them think having a wife or husband and kids is the ultimate goal and having um, the successful career is the ultimate goal and having, you know, a brand new car or whatever it is, you know, that's what your person has. So whatever the people around them think, that looks like success. That's what your person has, but your person is not actually happy. And I say things, for, you know, as examples like the family and, and the job because we have the Ten of Cups. You know, we have the Ten of Pentacles. That's not just someone who's out there doing things by themselves for themselves. It, it's it's community, it's more than one person. So I don't think your person is, um, is they don't seem to be a single entity here. In some way, shape or form, they're attached to someone else or to other people here. Um, their success is interwoven with someone else, with other people. No one's looking at them and saying, oh, that person is um, doing so well, you know, they, uh have a lot of money and they travel alone and they can do what they want when they want and you know they're always at the gym this this is someone who their time is divided between different people they're not doing things just by themselves here but you know i think they could do with some more time for themselves because they're really tired and miserable but anyway let's see messages for you Okay, irreplaceable, the way you love can never be matched. And I always find this really interesting because it's not saying you're irreplaceable, I would never love anyone like I love you, which is implied with the Two of Cups. One of the things though that really stands out to your person is the way that you have been with them, the way you have treated them, the way you have given something to them. Because remember, they're used to people expecting things of them. They live their life or have lived their life for others. But you've shown up, you haven't asked anything of them, you haven't wanted them to change, you haven't needed anything from them. And that's so powerful in terms of something they're remembering here. And look, ego, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Yeah. And they see this now. Okay, what else please? We have damage. We are both hurting from this. Okay. We have time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Reciprocity. I want to have equal give and take. So they want to show you now um, the same sort of maybe love, compassion, generosity, open-mindedness, acceptance. Uh, that you have shown them and I think in the past you know they didn't and it was difficult for them because they're so used to people not being accepting of them being demanding being judgmental that that was something that they were ab absorbing and naturally projecting out um, to everybody in every context and I think you got caught up in that unfortunately you know and you may have felt that at times your person has been judgmental towards you and judged you unfairly before they even really got to know you and that maybe they were uncompromising or a bit demanding or a bit pushy a bit stubborn okay and we have escape i left when things got hard yeah so when their ego you know first became uh challenged or, or you know when maybe you were challenging certain things about them or the connection was they ran away but just know that um since then that process has continued and they haven't continued to run they've actually made a change um and they stopped and they thought about it and i think they've grown as a result okay so let's see what else Okay, what other messages, please, does this person have for my viewer? 
We have no other compares to you, so kind of a similar message there that you're irreplaceable. We have, I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now, please know this. Yeah, see what I mean? This isn't someone who's um, living their best life for themselves, by themselves. They have some sort of responsibility here to other people. I think probably a handful of people actually. And it's almost like, you know, they know, they accept. I've created this situation. So I've, I've kind of got to, to deal with it now. I've got to sort this out myself. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Yeah. I wasn't ready. I just wasn't ready for you. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Exactly. It's like you got caught in the crossfire or something here. Am I good enough for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that king of wands, queen of wands, you know. It's like they do think about that. Am I good enough? I think I might be, but then maybe not in some ways. I know I made a huge mistake, so the mistake could definitely have involved them not being honest with you. Okay, we have a few here. We have, I feel safer in the silence. You are irreplaceable. Oh my goodness, that's literally what that card says. Two completely different decks and you feel like home to me. We've got basically, what, four or five cards saying no one compares to you, you cannot be replaced and you feel like home, which again is implied with that two of cups um, that your person's focused on. So in case you're wondering, there is, there is no one who matches you. I'm feeling some of you saying, yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, so good for you. Um, okay, so let's have a look. What action is your person going to take based on this current energy over the next couple of weeks? So this is timeless whenever you find this. Um, you know, so from, from whenever you're watching this uh, over the next couple of weeks. So what action is your person going to take? What action are they likely to take? Spirit, what action is this person going to take towards my viewer, please, between now and the next couple of weeks? What action is this person going to take? I think they're going to be creeping. I'm hearing creeping, whether that's creeping around watching you in person, maybe like, you know, you see each other, you work together, you go to the same places to relax, um, creeping your social media. Someone could be, um, something could happen in fact towards the end of June, beginning of July. Someone could be a Cancer as well. Okay, what action? Oh, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. That's nice. Good. Okay, what action, please? We ha Oh, look at that creeping. Yeah, Page of Swords. But could also be a message. Okay, what action is this person going to take towards my viewer? Oh my goodness, Eight of Wands. Why? Why? Wheel of Fortune reversed. It was going so well. Okay, let's keep going and see. Two of Wands reversed. That's powerful. That's them finally saying go time. You know, it's go time. I'm making a decision on something I've been thinking about for a long, long time. So there is some sort of action here. And, you know, we all know Pentacles is the most tangible of um, the four suits that we have. This is something you can see. It's something in the physical 3D reality. Nine of Swords. We have the Sun, so some Leo energy there potentially, and we have uh, the Queen of Cups. This looks like you're getting some message coming through, some illumination, some clarity. Um, your person is definitely looking for some sort of renewal and rebirth here within the next uh, couple of weeks. Um, I want to see with this Page of Swords, is this a message they're agonizing over, <clears throat> thinking about, or is it something they are sending and they're just stressing about the wording here? Strength, very encouraging. You know, being in their power, feeling very confident, double Leo energy here. Um, let's see, what else? The world reversed judgment reverse so they could be motivated and spurred on by time feeling like they're already taking too long that they might lose you completely that you know a decision a decision excuse me is going to be made for them you know meaning that this connection is no longer available to them tell me what this ace of pentacle is please if, if we can know at this point Hanged man reverse. So it's something they've been thinking about for a while. They're kind of feeling insecure about it. Oh, and it's something that means they're going behind someone else's back. King of Wands reversed. Queen of um, Pentacles reversed. 
I think, you, you know, you might get a message from this person. They might even suggest and offer something, uh, maybe like say, you know, do you want to meet up? Can we, can we talk? Can we go out somewhere or something like that? But it's done in secret, some sort of secret way behind someone's back. It, you know, this Queen of Pentacles could be anyone. It could be a karmic, you know, spouse. It could be a boss. It could be a parent. This Queen of Pentacles energy could be representative of several people, you know, who are sort of controlling, who would be disapproving of your person taking steps towards you. Um, okay, I think this Queen of Cups is how they feel about you, that you are not only that fiery, um, strong energy of, of wands, you know, King or Queen of Wands, let's say, but you, you're also very compassionate, patient, nurturing. You've always been the one, as we saw before, to give. You haven't been asking for things from them. Maybe you've, you've asked for things to be equal between you, but you've not been grabby. You know, you've not been trying to use them or get what you can from them. I'm hearing drain, squeeze. So I think, you know, your, your person's used to people using them um, whether it's obvious or not, you know, people always want to get what they can. They want as much as they can from your person. Yeah, look at that. See, two of cups reversed. They're being encouraged to get going, to push forward because, you know, time is of the essence. They haven't got forever and ever and ever. Um, and we have the eight of cups. At least that's how they feel, that they haven't got forever because you may get tired of, of not knowing where you stand, of them not making you know, clear, solid moves, and you might walk away, and they do not want to lose you, because they feel that once you walk away, you're gone for good, you know, these cups are smashed here, even if we came back, there's nothing really to come back to, and that's what they don't want to happen, um, okay, so let's get you some guidance and advice, and then, as I said, in the extended, I'm going to look specifically in detail at the next 48 hours, but, um, for now, let's get you guidance and advice from spirit. What are your messages, please? Guidance and advice for my viewers. It's quite a lot. Okay, here we go. We have Zebra. Um, let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. So I feel, you know, this connection is also protected here. Um, so you can definitely relax uh, if you've been feeling kind of anxious, stressed. Um, I'm, I'm feeling maybe for some of you, you've been feeling a kind of dread, almost like something bad is going to happen. Um, and I think Spirit's saying that's not coming from your intuition. That might be coming from could be so many things it could be a lack of sleep it could be overthinking it could be feeling like you know you've been left in the dark so you're having to try and fill in the blanks um, but yeah you can relax and we have meerkat get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends so yeah maybe it's a good time to go out be around friends or it could even be um if you don't have anyone in your personal life you feel you can sort of talk about this with there are lots of like groups on facebook all of that but just people who who understand people who get you um and will leave you feeling supported here okay what else please guidance and advice what's that we have a ah, unicorn indulge your creative imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression okay so yeah, I think this is almost like spirit asking you to kind of get out of your own way a little bit, get out of your own head, release um, some of what you're thinking and feeling through some sort of creative um, activity. And, you know, we think of creativity, we think of like art, music, that sort of thing, but literally anything, anything that you find and feel to be creative, or maybe it's bringing a kind of a creative expression to something that ordinarily seems like rigid that isn't creative but you can bring your own flair to it so um, allow your sort of your personality to shine through and just allow yourself to maybe try and bring fun into things a bit more or to do things in your own unique way is what i'm seeing here <laughs> it's kind of like how okay we've got a zebra fine we have a meerkat yep and then a unicorn it's, it's very unexpected kind of bizarre but i think that's that's like the charm here you be the unicorn you know you be the the amazing rare thing that everyone's like wow or thinking i would never have thought to do it in that way okay so what else please guidance and advice for my viewers at this one
Okay, we have plant the seeds and we have um, prayers and wishes. So there could be something that you are thinking about, wishing for, and you may not realise you've actually already planted the seed. This is, you know, your your wish, your hope has already been heard and it's already um, being created. It's already manifesting for you, you know, and that's one of the reasons you can sort of like relax and let go a little bit. Um, it's like if you plant a seed, we all know it, it starts growing before we can actually see evidence of it growing, you know, with the roots finding their way up through the soil and that sort of thing. Um, the other way we can also look at this and another message I'm getting is, um, again, with this creativity, you know, allow yourself to... Um, do something new invest in something outside of this connection to allow yourself to grow and expand in other ways here and also if there's something you want you know man allow yourself to manifest it set the intention um you know let the universe know you know look out for signs synchronicities that sort of thing but um i feel your prayers your wishes your hopes have been heard answered even if you've not sat down and said divine universe god you know whatever you believe in I want this to happen if you just really feel it strongly it's like that that energetic signature has been picked up on um you've planted some sort of seed here okay so i think i'm going to leave this here so i hope this has helped i don't think i said at the start so it's probably entirely unhelpful now but this is for all zodiacs uh zodiac signs um like i said i'll go into the extended now but this you know can be a standalone complete reading in and of itself if you don't want to um watch the extended and uh, yeah i will be back on monday with um all of the regular readings but for this week this this will be it from uh, me so i hope you have a lovely rest of the week and um, i'm excited already to catch up with you on monday okay take care bye